الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم ومن آياته الليل والنهار والشمس والقمر إلى آخر الآية Allah Tabarak Ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, and from his signs is the sun and the moon. And from his signs is the sun and the moon. So from the signs that are dalil or evidence for the rubiyah, the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the sun and the moon. And all of the beautiful creation that we observe, all the beautiful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we observe. And as you see, there is much to observe. Much is vast and beautiful in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. There's much to wonder at. There's much to ponder and reflect upon. Men khalaqa hadha? Who created this? Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala created all of this, this vast beauty. And so I just wanted to remind myself and my brothers and sisters that for those people who be, have boredom, those people who do not feel they have an outlet, those people who find depression, that this in fact is a type of therapy, that it is therapeutic to find yourself positive activities to busy yourself with and activities that remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this particular activity of going out in the wilderness and hiking and seeing the beautiful the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and reflecting upon it and pondering it is immensely therapeutic it is immensely, uh, it revitalizes. It's a part of mental and spiritual health. It's a part of mental and spiritual health. Because when you reflect upon the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you come out and see the vast beauty of His creation, or just get a glimpse of it, and you're grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that experience, this is healthy for the heart. And perhaps, without knowing the metaphysics of this reality, that there is immensely important health benefits. Aside from the beautiful, healthy air that we breathe. Aside from the the oxygen that's emitted from these trees. Aside from all the greenery and all the colors that are soothing to the eye, that all of this affects us probably, perhaps in ways we can't imagine. And that's what I mean by it being therapeutical. It having an effect upon you and helping you, in fact, in your spirituality, in your meditation, in your reflection of Allah Azza wa Jal. And so I ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us all with beautiful outlets that remind us of Him and help to calm our being to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remove ourselves from the decay of materialism and the destructive tendencies of consumerism and all the other things which affect us and busy our hearts and cause us to be distracted from Allah Azza wa Jal. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad وعلى علي وصحبه
وسلم